So this question is a translate word problem question. I say that immediately just given the length of the question. Um, word problems are answered or the strategy that I use to answer word problems just indicates that I should read a sentence at a time, making sure to write down any quantitative information as I read, any other relevant information that relates to that quantitative information as I read so that I don't have to go back and reread the passage or the question in order to find the information I need for the question to answer the question. So the first sentence here says Leonardo da Vinci's rectangular painting Mona Lisa measures 21 inches wide and 30 inches long. I'm actually going to just draw the rectangle. So 21 is wide and 30 is the length. So I just do it like that. An artist is creating a larger scale replica of Mona Lisa, where the equation A equals 21x times 30x gives the area of the replica. Okay, well, that makes complete sense, right? Because the area here would be 21 times 30. So if you're making a replica, you're going to multiply both the length and the width by some x value, right? So that would make sense that A, and I'll just write it, A equals 21x times 30x. Which of the following is the best interpretation of x in this context? Well, I've already kind of mentioned it, right? So x has to be the factor by which you're increasing the size of this uh, rep of this replica, right? Because if x, so for example, if x were 2, we'd end up with a 60 by 42, right? Just double the size of the original. If x were 3, we'd end up with a 90 by 63. So let's look at the answer choices and see what makes the most sense. Choice A, the width of the replica is x inches greater than, nope, that's not true. We're not adding x, we're definitely multiplying by x. Choice B, the length of the replica is x inches greater, nope. Choice C, the measure of each side of the replica is x times as great as the measure of the corresponding side of the original Mona Lisa. I like that. And then choice D, the area of the replica is x times as great as the area. So that's not true. That's a close to true, but it's actually not true. Because if we were to simplify this, you know we're going to get x times x, which is x squared. So that's going to be the, we're going to actually square the x term for the area. But in terms of the, the sides, the lengths of each side, we're just multiplying by x. So choice C is the best answer for that reason. And hopefully you can see that using this strategy of translate word problem helps me to even get in the frame of mind of like thinking about well, what does it mean, right? I know what 21 by 30 means, but what is this 21x and 30x? I already started to think about what x could even mean prior to knowing that that's what the question was all about.